Welcome to the Blessed Mindset Matters Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Raquel Tolson, and I'm broadcasting on WYTV7.org, where we have a mission to empower, encourage, and educate. I hope that the Blessed Mindset Matters Podcast has been doing that for you. And if so, I need you to go on to the website, www.wytv7.org and hit that donate button. We can use your donates because we are a nonprofit organization and we're here to help spread good news to the people around the world. And we give scholarships and we help feed um, families. So please go to www.wytv7.org and hit that donate button. So I'm doing things a little different this season. At the end of every month, I'm just kind of giving a raise recap of the month of either my guest or what's been going on in the, in the um, world. And we have a lot that's been going on in the world for September. So I'm just gonna dive right in y'all. Whew, so much. Let me just start with the COVID. We did talk about this last week with our um, educator and the mask just, it's gotten ridiculous people. We gotta change our mindset. I know that we live in America where the land of the free and that we have our freedoms. But what I think people get it confused is you're not free to do whatever you want. That's never been the thing because if that was the case, we wouldn't have laws, right? You're not free to rob from people. You're not free to steal. You're not free to murder. You're not free to drive over a speed limit because there's consequences and those consequences mean you go to jail, you get fined whatever right so what is the difference with mandating a mask to keep people including yourself safe it's the mindset so you're still free because you're free not to wear it and suffer the consequences getting kicked off airplanes not being allowed in stores and restaurants you know so you do have the freedom not to do it, but then there's a consequence that you have to deal with, right? So let's change your mindset about that freedom. This is America. We're free. Yeah, you're free to stay home. I can tell you, I don't really like wearing masks. I don't. I wear them because I like to go out. I want to go to the store. I want to do this. I want So I'm going to wear my mask. But guess what? I would much rather stay at home and not wear my mask. I don't have my mask on now because I'm at home. Nobody's here or go outside and be six feet apart from people. Because if I'm outside and I'm really close to people, I'm putting back on my mask. Not just for me, but for other people to say, you know, it's safe. So we got to change our mindset about that whole freedom being in the United States. Because first of all, yeah, I'm not even gonna get on the whole being black and free in America. I'm not even gonna go there. But I will say, we got to change our mindset because we are free, even with the laws or with mandates and all that. We're still free because we have a choice not to go somewhere. They're not saying we have to go to the Starbucks to pick up our coffee. We can make coffee at home. Keurig and um, Mr. Coffee, all of them got coffee pots. And they got all the little stuff at the house. So change your mindset, people. You are free to stay at home and not wear your mask. You are free to move about you know without a mask and suffer the consequences so there's still freedom you just have to decide in your mind how you plan to um, exercise your freedom that's all i got to say about that all right moving on to the next thing i got my little list here y'all all right let's talk about the serial killers out here this fentanyl I know y'all want to blame the drug users. I know that's who you want to blame. Let's not do that. First of all, we all know that it is a, an illness, but let's not blame them also for the ones that wanted that don't have the illness that may just wanted to party for a day, you know, a night and have a good time and whatever, if that's how they thought that they was going to have a good time. And then they end up dying because serial killers are out here putting fentanyl in the drugs. And I call them serial killers because they're killing a lot of people. And it's and it's happening, it's not just like one time. They're they're steadily doing this. And we know it took Prince out. 
I still heard about that. Now, Michael Williams, I mean, and then all the countless people that we don't know that's had that. I believe Bobby Brown's son was a victim of that. Um, Mac Miller. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So, first of all, we got to change our mindset about drug users, especially those ones that are addicted because addiction is definitely an illness. It's not, it's not a choice. People don't choose, oh yeah, I want to be addicted to drugs. I don't, they may have made the choice to use it at the, in the first place. And usually, even with that, let's just talk about that real quick because we are in Suicide Prevention Month. Some people turn to drugs to numb the pain. And most of the pain, and some of it is physical pain, believe me. Some of it is definitely physical pain. If you have been in a lot of pain, you will take some, you will take something to to stop the pain. Because pain is not good for our body. Mentally or physically, pain is not good for our body. Okay. When we using we in pain, I always tell people when you were in a lot of pain, you need to go and find out what that pain is because our body is seeing that something is wrong. That part, okay. Um, but then those people who are in a lot of pain mentally, right? Because if you are in a lot of mental and emotional pain, sometimes you just want to block everything out so you don't have to think. Because when you think, it makes you sad. It makes you depressed. It, it you know, it, it doesn't feel good. It hurts. Just like the physical pain that you want to get out of, you pop a Tylenol, ibuprofen as soon as you get. The people are feeling the same way about the mental and emotional pain. So let's change our mindset about how we deal with and how we think about people who have a substance abuse uh, problem. Um, with that said, we have to, if we do that, right, then when these people um, die from fentanyl, when they find out of fentanyl, and everybody knows, like, like fentanyl doesn't need to be in those drugs. It doesn't. I, I don't know why they do it. Maybe, I don't know. I can't even begin to tell you why that, that happens. Especially when I, I always think that if I was a, if I was selling it, I probably wouldn't want to kill off the people that's buying it. But that's just me. That's why I say, I think it's like serial killers out there that they like are getting their jollies off of people dying. Because if a real business person would never want to kill the people who are um, keeping them rich or making them a lot of money. So I don't know. I'm just asking for the people out there that, that are prayer, you know, that pray, that believe in prayer, whether you pray in the God um, that the uh, Christians pray to, whether you pray to the God that uh, Catholic people, I mean, whoever you pray to, or even just sending good vibes or whatever. Just, you know, we got to pray for the people who are addicted to drugs because there's some of the people out there trying to hurt them. People out there trying to hurt them. So, whew, be careful out there, y'all. Be careful out there. All right. The next thing I want to talk about, y'all, it's been a long time coming, but R. Kelly. R. Kelly was found guilty of a whole lot of stuff. Now, I personally, I loved R. Kelly music. Uh, I Believe I Can Fly, I felt like that was probably the best song ever made. Like, it's a great song, right? It's so spiritual to me. It's, I mean... It's, it's awesome. And then he he had a lot of good a lot of good music. The stepping, we still we stepping because of him. The people in Chicago always been stepping. But everybody else, we didn't decide, we didn't learn how to step until we were stepping in the name of love. So I understand. I understand how it may be difficult for you to say, I'm giving up on the music. And me personally, I don't know that you have to give up on the music, but you know, well, because you're free to do whatever you want to. I'm just going to tell you the reason, one of the reasons why I had stopped. 
because I feel like me list downloading the music, um, unless I already bought it, then I mean, then he's not making any money off of it. But if you're downloading the music, he's, he's making money and he was using that money to help him, you know, do all these things. And I f almost feel like bad that we kind of helped him to get to where he was so he could do that. But that's not our fault. That's not our fault. That's not our fault at all. But I will say this. If I'm with you and you listen to R. Kelly, I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge you because it was some good music. Now, it's the same way some people feel about other people, you know, and we still listen to everybody else's music. So I'm just going to change my mindset about it because that judgmental part of us that we like, you listening to him here, mm -mm. I'm not going to do that to people no more. I'm just glad he going to prison where he belongs. And I hope that all his victims get the help, the psychological and emotional help that they need. That's what I'm going to say about that. But as far as being judgmental, judge, judgy for people that's listening, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And, you know, if I so choose to feel moved to pull out, I believe I can fly. I'm not going to judge myself either because Listen, let me just say this. God works through a lot of people. God knew what this man was about when he allowed, when he gave him the ideas for these wonderful songs. God knew because he knew the beginning and the end, or she, <laughs> Father, Mother, God, knows the beginning and the end, knows our heart, knows all that stuff, and still allowed, you know, this wonderful, these wonderful things to come through. So, I don't know. Y'all y'all let me know. Comment, whatever. You let me know now that he is going to jail. Um, do you think it's okay for people to, you know, enjoy, you know, put pull out their CDs and listen to them once again? And remember what, you know, and just get the enjoyment from the music and, and can they separate the music from the man? It's the same thing with the Bill Cosby thing, you know, whether you think he was guilty or not. You know how they then they took off the Cosby show and it was like, can we separate the man from the acting from his, you know, what he did? Because regardless, Cosby, I mean, that different world changed a lot of people's lives, made a lot of people go to college. OK, especially black colleges did a lot for black colleges. So I don't know. There are some things I don't I don't claim to know it all. I'm just talking. I'm just, you know, and then with this thing, I really want y'all to tell me, what do you think? What would you do if somebody, if you got in somebody's car and they was bumping R. Kelly? What would you do if you went to somebody's house and they was watching Cosby show? Like, what would you do? Would you be judgmental or would you change your mindset? And like, you're not judging that people, you know, the whole thing back to the beginning of freedom, but then there's consequences. So if, you know, let me know what y'all think. I really would love to hear what you think. Because that's what this, the end of the month is about. It's my raise recap. But I really want to know what you think. And then you can send in, um, go to Raquel at, um, go to www.raqueltolson.com. And um, that's my personal website. But go on there, send me messages. Let me know what you think. Um, you can go to the YouTube page. That would be actually the best place for you to go to the Blessed Mindset Matters you podcast YouTube page. And then you can go there and leave me messages on here and let me know what you think or what you think I should talk about in uh, Raytober. Oh yeah, y'all know I don't call October, October. Because first of all, oct means eight. October is the 10th month. So it just doesn't make sense to say October, right? Come on. So y'all may as well just start calling it Raytober anyway. Because that's the month I was born in. So y'all know I'm just going to recap all of my um, nice birthday celebrations and hope that the world is a better place in Raytober. But I'm going to take a quick break. And then I'll be right back because I want to talk about a few more things. 
always been my mission to help people with their health. Organs are some of the most nutrient dense superfoods on the planet and yet we're not getting them in our diet. My name is James Berry. I have been a chef for over 16 years. I came up with this new product. It's called Pluck. It's an organ based all purpose seasoning. And Pluck, you don't need to know how to cook. Just simply either make a food how you would and finish it with Pluck. You can add it to the recipe while you're making it. You can finish it with pluck. You can simply just season your meal with pluck. By being a shelf stable spice can be added to any food. Popcorn, rice, salad, chicken, fish, eggs, you name it and you can use it with pluck. The organ based all purpose seasoning that's versatile and goes with any food. Nutrition in a pinch. All right, we're back. Um, so, I don't know if the, for the people who are watching the video, you see I am in my new space. Uh, I bought uh, about five years ago, I bought a duplex in LA and we were living in one and we were renting out the other. And I did it because I have a son, one son. And I was like, well, you know, being in LA is, is going to get higher and it's going to get higher. So instead of him going out renting from somebody else, he could just live next door and rent from me. So that's what the plan was. But now, you know, I'm like, well, because the, the one we the rental is smaller than the um, one that we were living in. So I was like, well, I'll take the smaller unit because it's just me. And if I do get married, I'm probably going to marry somebody that don't have no little kids. So we don't need a whole lot of space. If we even stay in my space, that's that's a topic for another time. But. I let him have the big one because he's the one that eventually will get married and have kids. So anyway, I'm in my new space. So I have an office and this is my office. So you have blessed and I have mindset, even though it doesn't say mindset matters, saying mindset is everything. And then I don't know if you guys see this, but my nephew is an artist, but he's all, he's a, um, what they do, let he lettering. And this is my favorite one. Today is another chance to make dope stuff. And then this one says, stay inspired, bruh. Oh, and this one right here is a good one for office. Do more, talk less. That's huge. A lot of people need to probably. That, that's a good one. Do more, talk less. Because you know how people, y'all know people that say, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. Be like, don't tell me what you're going to do. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Just tell me what you did. <laughs> tell me, oh, I did this, I did that. But what you going to do? Come on now, y'all. Do more, talk less. This coming from somebody who loves to talk. But that's like kind of the things like you, you know, do more and talk less. I love that. So September is also Life Assurance Awareness Month. Now, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm actually a, um, a living benefit specialist with all, AKA life insurance agent. But let me tell you, life insurance is a, is more than what you think. First of all, I need everybody out here that listening to me that can see me. If you don't have life insurance, you need to get you some life insurance. If you don't have life insurance on your kids, all the way down to the baby, 14 days old, everybody needs life insurance. Things happen to everybody. And we have made GoFundMe a billion dollar company because we won't go get life insurance. Because we do these GoFundMe. No disrespect to people who have had to do them. I, we've had, I've had to do a GoFundMe account for family. But we need to get some life insurance. And let me tell you why I sell the living benefits. Because you might not die, but you need some money. You might get uh, cancer, stage two cancer. You still got to fight it. You don't want to go to work while you're fighting it. Your insurance, your health insurance may pay for some of your treatment. It's not going to pay for all of it. But let's just say you got real good health insurance and it pays for your treatment. Who going to pay your um, bills while you're not working? Unless you got been on your job for a long time and you got a lot of sick time, then if not, you need some living benefits and pol uh, living benefits policy. You can get up to 90% depending on the, the severity of your illness. But from 70 to 
um, for critical injuries, could, like if you got a, a had a car accident, had a head injury, all those things. Um, th these things are important to think about. And the younger you are, the cheaper life insurance is. Even living benefits like policies are practically the same as any regular life insurance policy. But it's cheaper when you're younger, when you're healthier. So if you are my age, in your 50s, and you got kids in their 20s, come on, help them, get them set up, get your grandkids set up. Now, let me tell you, so that was, that's just about regular. Let me tell y'all what would they call IULs. This is a life insurance policy. It's a permanent life insurance policy that you can dump money into to save. Not a whole life policy. Whole life policies are great too. Those are permanent policies that you can save money in. What whole life policies, you maybe get about a 4% interest, guaranteed interest, right? With the IULs, your interest can go all the way up to 10%. Every year, they base it on what happens in the stock market. This is the genius part. If the stock market goes up, you can go up. When the stock market goes down, your money stays here. You cannot lose. Or if you got your money in the stock market, it's going up and down, up and down. Some of y'all may remember, I know my sister said, that you know, the stock market went down, it took like half of her retirement money. Now her money stayed in there, so it's coming back up. But what if she was ready to retire when it gets, cause some people retire during those times when the stock market is down and it takes half of your money or whatever. And now you gotta retire or you gotta decide, oh, maybe I can't retire. But it's not like that money goes back up real quick. It take a while to get it back up to where it was. So with the IULs, your money, you never lose your money. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You never lose your money in IUL. You can go up, or you, but you can never go down. So your money is just doing this. It can stay the same because when the market goes down, you don't get anything. So that's zero. So your money doesn't grow, but guess what? It doesn't, you don't lose it. So when it goes up, then you go up. You go, it's brilliant. Not to mention, because it's an insurance policy, you don't pay taxes as your money grows. That's a big deal. Because usually when your money grows, you got to pay Uncle Sam. So if you gain $2, you're going to gain $2 because you got to pay at least 20%, $0.25 cents to Uncle Sam. So you gain $1.75, right? Because Uncle Sam took some. But when your money is growing without getting taxed, it's growing faster. Let me tell y'all. And not to mention, it's got a life insurance policy. So even when you're, you, the money you've accumulated, if something happens to you, your family can get more than what you've accumulated because it's attached to an insurance policy. It's brilliant. And they get that money tax-free. You can use your money tax-free when you can take it out tax-free. Y'all, I'm telling you, it is, to me, it was, it was a no-brainer. And then if you have little kids, I can't wait till a grandkid get here. Cause I'm definitely, that's what I'm buying. I'm not buying all these toys and clothes cause their parents gonna buy that. Other people gonna buy that. I'm getting, I'm putting at least a hundred dollars a month up for my, if you put a hundred dollars up a month for a child, that child will be a millionaire by the time they're 60. And some people might be like, well, being a millionaire is overrated. First of all, a million dollars probably not a whole lot of money in some areas but still a million dollars is a lot of money especially if it's done right and having that million dollars and living off of the you know so that money will take you into an old age till you die and you you got income you know what i'm saying like income like well, by my time my grandchild is 50 they could probably take out about fifty thousand dollars a year and I'm like, I wish I had that. Cause y'all know, I don't want to work 50s. I'm like, who came up with this retiring at 65? Now, mind you, the whole mindset thing. When I say I don't want to work, I'm working now. This is work, you know, I, I love it, but it's work. But it's what I get to do. I get to do what I want to do. Me selling um, the life insurance. It's stuff that I want to do because I want to help people. But to have the clock in, and be at work when people tell me I have to be at work. Yeah. 
not really down for that. But I mean, I do it because, you know, to make some, you know, to make the money, to pay the bills, to do the things that I like to do, I do it. But wouldn't it have been nice if my parents would have had one of them accounts for me to be like, oh, you can take out, oh my gosh, it would have been a wonderful thing. But let me tell you the other reason why I sell life insurance. So for all the black people out here listening to me, understand this, the wealth gap in America is huge. We, for the most part, we don't have a net worth of much in our community. Let me tell you, a life insurance policy could change a family. Even just a regular life insurance policy. If you had, my mother had a $100,000 policy. That money, because I was distraught when my mom died when I was 40 years old. I was distraught. But I also had a 14-year-old son that I had to take care of. And trying to go to work, take care of him, I wouldn't have been able to make, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I was able to use that money to help me to come to the terms with my mother's death, help me take care of my son, help me pay my bills, and, and it got me to where I could get back on track and it was everything. Now, if I wasn't if I didn't have all the, you know, the emotional mental issues after my mom passed, I could have used that money put a down payment on the house. I didn't do that. And the reason why I didn't do that, but that's what I suggest that most people do. But the reason why I do it, cause I couldn't go back to work. You you can't get a house without, <laughs> you can't get a house without a job. I knew I couldn't get one at that moment cause I was, it was too much. But it allowed me, that money allowed me to get through it. And, and then I got the job and I got the houses and I'm, you know, everything was good. So it worked out. But if you have at least a hundred thousand dollar policy, your children could put down payments on houses. That changes. The, a home is what increases your net worth. Because like my house that I paid for five years ago, I bought it for six hundred thousand dollars. Y'all, I live in LA. My house today is worth nine hundred thousand dollars. That that definitely increased my net worth, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Even though it's not tangible money, but when they look at net worth, that's part, yeah, it did. Now don't be calling me, asking me for money because I don't have that money in the bank. That is money on paper, but it still increased my net worth. And so what I'm saying is a life insurance policy can change a family. It can build generational wealth and buying homes and, and it, it increased the net worth so it can lower the wealth gap in America. That's what I'm trying to say. Life insurance is more than just a death benefit. Life insurance can change a family's wealth. It can build wealth, generational wealth. So if y'all are interested, Go to my website, www.raykeltolson, R-A-Y-K-E-L-T-O-L-S-O-N.com. And you can find out more. I got cool videos that tell you about how you can use life insurance policies because it's not just a death benefit anymore. So I hope y'all enjoyed um, the new Blessed Mindset Matters um for the first week i mean first month and like i said if y'all have something that you want me to talk about go to the youtube and tell me talk about this or what do you think about this and i will do it at the end of the month every month it'll be ray's recap okay ray's recap isn't that cool and then of course i'm going to talk about how mindset could change some things okay but before i go there was one other thing, the uh, COVID is still out there, y'all. I already talked about wearing your mask, but COVID is still out there. Please be careful. I am vaccinated. I am not telling you that you have to be vaccinated, but I will say that for the people that I have, I've known who has gotten COVID after being vaccinated, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. 
they weren't they didn't have to go to the hospital they wanted to go but they didn't have to go to the hospital they were able to get through it and so for me that that alone is the reason why i got it plus i like to travel i didn't have to go to germany and all these other places to visit loved ones so i'm saying i got vaccinated i'm not telling you that that's what you have to do but i'm telling you to really think about maybe that's what you should do mindset wise because you don't want to die you don't want this thing to kill you and i don't know i've been getting vaccinations all my life as a kid you know to go to school i've been getting vaccinations all my life so i didn't think it was any big difference i had to get vaccinated for the flu to work at the um, air force base i did it you know so change let's change our mindset let's let's beat this thing because i'm ready to get back to you know fun i'm ready to get back to having fun all right until next week y'all be blessed